Uh, I'm James Stewart, uh, professor of mathematics at McMaster University and University of Toronto. Uh, I spend most of my time now writing calculus textbooks and other mathematics textbooks. I was talking about uh, problem solving principles and um, the title of my talk was How to Guess in Mathematics because um, mathematics is famous for proving, but the creative part of mathematics is largely guessing before you get to the proving. Uh, so I tried to illustrate the principles of good guessing in mathematics. Yes, my favorite such principle is analogy. If you're faced with a really tough problem, you don't know how to get started, try to think of an analogous problem, a similar problem, that, but that's easier than the original problem. Because if you can solve that similar but simpler problem, it might just give you the clues you need to solve the original, more difficult problem. Uh, well, I always loved mathematics. Um, I had an inspiring high school teacher in grade 11 um, who went beyond the usual curriculum and kind of stimulated my interest in it. Um, but I was also interested in music, and so at the end of my second year university, I almost switched into music. I figured it would be easier to be a mathematician whose interest is in music rather than a musician whose interest is in mathematics. Don't be afraid. <laughs> um, often one acquires a fear of mathematics from like a grade school teacher who's passing on her math phobia. Um, but uh, there's no need to be afraid. Uh, it seems to be fashionable not to like mathematics but, but really, I, th I think it's mainly a consequence of um, fear being instilled at an early age, and I wish we could get around that. Well, eventually a an idea will take hold of your mind and not let go. Um, probably the person with the greatest powers of concentration was Newton, who, when asked uh, the secret of his discovery, said, by always thinking unto it. And, uh, and indeed, if an idea grabs you, you can't let it go. Um, Newton, Newton went, like, you know, for, for days sometimes without eating, because um, he was just so uh, engrossed in his, his discovery, he, he just couldn't let it go. He's an extreme example, but to a lesser extent, I think that happens to many people in, involved in trying to solve a mathematical problem.